Lloyd Vehicle Consulting t-shirts, mugs and stickers are now available. Please click on the Google link in the description below to purchase your very own. Good afternoon. Today is the 8th of May and this is part 6 of the Slightly Shambolic Shuffle around the Basic State Festival of Transport. We're coming quite to the end of the show now and I'm going to get round the rest of the cars here as quickly as I possibly can. This is a kind of uh, early 50s Chevrolet pickup, we go 1957 Chevrolet pickup. This is um, replica AC Cobra. I don't know what it's based on, that's just sort of a it's sort of like a mock on the Fiesta door handle in or something. So it'll be about 83, 84 registration that one. Ford Zodiac Mark II convertible. That's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Boxel Cresta PA could be a Velox actually, no, it's a Cresta. And you can see the interior there. Very, very nice. Mark II uh, Ford Zephyr Low Line. Kind of one of these sort of typical late 50s, early 60s colours that sort of really stands out. Rubber bumper. MGB 1976-77 registration, converted from a rubber bumper car. See this with a later dash in it. Quite common to do this conversion actually. Uh, 2005 750Z. Yeah, 1976-77 Volkswagen Beetle. This looks like quite an original one actually. There's a few bits in the interior there that have been changed, but looks actually relatively standard that one. 1969-70 Morris Minor in bright purple. This is a beige type of interior. It's very nice. Look at the old purple steering wheel. Frankie, hello Frankie. What exactly are you? Oh, there's a number plate. 1970-71 uh, Volkswagen Beetle. That front end looks a bit earlier than the car though. 1968 69 MGB GT. So this is a Mark III Ford Zephyr Zodiac. 1964. Ooh, it's got a, a real friend in, it, in this one. Isn't that nice? A real little friend in there. Later um, Triumph Dolomite, I think this is an 1858 Shell, 75. Yeah, it's an 1858 Shell, but made in made in Coventry, shipped to County Down. Ulster plate, um, Austin A35. Wow, that's a lot of smoke coming from somewhere. Austin A35. Another MGB, loads and loads and loads and loads of them around here today. Bay window, Volkswagen. This one is uh, 71. 1971 72. Austin 1300 GT. I really hope you drive one of these at some point because I have been given the chance, there's one actually at the, uh, actually, no, there's two, at the uh, uh, Great British Car Journey. Wow, Riley Kestrel, 1966. This is the 1100cc version. Ooh, another little friend in there. Hello. One of these days, maybe I'll bring my little friend to a, to a show or something. It's a street rod Ford thing. What's this? It's right hand drive. Buick, a McLaughlin Buick, of course, built in Canada, but I think these actually were sold over here for a time. There we are. Just some engines revving people on, you know, 
to get home, but I saw Shambly shuffle. 1972 to three, Triumph Dolomite. This wasn't badge as 1850 HL until uh, the sort of mild facelift occurred about 75. So this is a very early one because it came out I think late 71. Very nice. MGB GT rubber bumper 7778 registration. Yeah, a later dash in that one. Another MGA, probably the 1500, so kind of an earlier, an earlier one. Uh, Healy 100. I think this is a BN1, so it'd be mid 50s. This one. I actually helped someone sell one of these on eBay about 2006. MGA 1600 Mark II with the later rear lights. This is a very late one. This will be around 1962. 19. 73, 74, Ford Capri Mark II, very late Mark II actually, one of these. This would be a 3 litre, and that's a GXL. Mark II Ford Zephyr, with um, again a sort of crazy colour. Another one of these Vauxhall Crestors, third Vauxhall Crestor that I've actually seen today, isn't that insane, viewers? Right, I'm going to have to speed up a bit here. 1964 MG Midget, that's a Mark II, I think. Uh, it's got the uh, external door handles. Another one of these Mark III um, Ford, I think it's a Zodiac actually, like yeah. that. I think that's a 65 viewers, that one. Yeah, 65. 1970-71 Morris 1100 Mark II. I am so glad of it as my financial automatic stabilization. 1971 72 Austin Maxi 1500. I actually have a review of a 1750 Maxi from this era uh, on my channel, on Second Hand Classics, if you care to take a look. Right, let's uh, skip forward to that next row there. 1969 to 70 MGB GT. Lovely wire wheels and uh, very nice colour as well. 1968 to 9 MGC. 1964 MG Magnet. I forget the model code for these. But uh, there it is. I think we get a rev count. Uh, no, no. Oh, you, had to go to, you had to go to the um, ride to get one of those, didn't you? All these different farinas. And of course, this is an auto. An auto. Wow. I wish we made one of those. This Mark II Ford Escort van has um, had some modification, shall we say. Uh, it's a two litre engine, 77, 78 registration. Mark II uh, Escort, sorry, Mark I Escort. Let's go here, let's just hold together for for a little bit longer. Mark I Escort RS Mexico. Again, worth a fortune, uh, 70, 73 registration. Austin Healy Mark 1 Sprite Frog Eye. These sort of between 58 and 61, I think, those. I think that is a... Yeah, it's a Morris Minor. It's, um, I think, a Series 2, actually. Yeah, it's a Series 2 Morris Minor. be between 53 and 56, those ones. And with the uh, lovely older steering wheel in it. Those seats um, are off later, I think. Oh, today's last Land Crab, 1971-72 Walsley. Walsley, Walsley 1885, 2012 Morgan Plus 4. Don't look any different from um, sort of the earlier ones, do they? 1966 Sunbeam Alpine. The uh, Series 5, I think, with the 1275. 1966 Triumph Test. Can't remember if this is the, uh, it's the 2 litre or not. We'll take a, take a look, shall we? No, that's just the 1.6, so it's the uh, pre 2 litre one. There we go, the Alpine GC. 1977 uh, Corvette Stingray. With um, 
some pretty interesting uh, glass fiber bodywork. Oh, I forget. It's one of these NGs, isn't it? Yeah, it's an NG. I think they started to be made in about 81, but they were based on older cards, which is why I got an older plate on it. So those gauges look very, very familiar, but I can't remember offhand what car they're actually out of. Uh, Cheyenne. Chevrolet Cheyenne. That'd be the uh, C10. I don't know what year this is, Viv. Take a look. Uh, 76. 1953 Ford F100 pickup. Those wheels look very Back to the Future Part 1, don't they? Let's go down around here. A couple of other these old pickups here. Don't know what year this one is. It's another Sh uh, Chevrolet 3100. This one, a bit of a later one, I imagine. Uh, I don't know, late 50s? Ooh, 1971 to 72, Volvo 145 with the uh, later door handles. Same door handles, actually, my mother had on a 240, which is like 1989. I think this is a Thames series. So even the Anglia sort of based cars are about just Thames. Yes, it is, it's Thames 700 weight based on the uh, Ford Anglia of the time, the 105E and 123E. 1964, Rover 95. It's very, very late P4. As I've probably said before, I have driven a P4, which was actually late last year. A car belongs to Alex from Alex's channel. I didn't completely miss everything up, almost, almost did at one point. Almost ready to look at some of the people going out now. That's a Triumph Stag, quite a late one probably, but I, I don't know because the personal plate on this one. And yes, there we go. The last one of this series. Mark 3 Ford Capri. I think this is a 1.6 GL or something like that. So that's quite an early one. That's, um, 1978 to 9 registration. Gosh, I just got recognised again, viewers. But I, to be honest, I'm heading for the ice cream queue and I hope that uh, hope that uh, he won't blame me. So thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching this uh, slightly shambolic shuffle around the Beta Festival of Transport um, I could do with an ice cream. Somehow we got round everything. Absolute sprint in the last few parts. Um, but it's definitely worth it. More shambolic shuffling will be occurring uh, probably next weekend, actually. Or by the time, by the time you see this, um, it'll be just before that. So uh, thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching. How did I miss these earlier on, viewers? E34 BMW M5 with a cream leather interior. Must be quite a late one because of the uh, driver's airbag and also the later door mirrors. It's a 94, six speed, well. Triumph 1500, quite an early one. 71 to uh, 72 registration, which is a front wheel drive 1500 actually, which uh, later formed the basis for Dolomite, which is rear wheel drive. 1970, 4 to 75 DAF, I think this is a 66. That's pretty, guys. And a very, very late MGB GT. This is a 80 to on registration. It's one of the last ones made at Abington with this kind of silver striped interior. And oh dear, look, let's be real. I shouldn't have talked about that 306 air on. It's got an engine that we uh, don't talk about on this channel, viewers. Ooh. And what is this we've got over here? Sorry, excuse me. Nice little uh, E28 BMW 5 Series. Uh, 86, 87 registration. It's 520i. Auto. With BBS wheels. Very, very nice viewers. Right, I shall definitely be 
getting out of here this time. What I've got to say, viewers, that um, Snow's Motor Groups are actually here today um, with some of their Kias. Brand new Stonic here, and then also one of the brand new Sportages. Um, one of the top best selling cars actually of uh, the month in April 2022. It's going to take a while for them to get out, but there are a lot of people trying to get out of the show now. <laughs> 